Pantronbago is wishing the nation Happy World Steel Pan Day with a host of activities. Along with the bands that lined Piccadilly Street in Port of Spain on Friday, the organization hosted an ancestral walk with African drums and tambu bamboo, which started at All Stars Pan Yard. Cameraman Rajnath Lal and reporter Kimberly de Souza joined some members at Piccadilly Street in Port of Spain to discuss the significance. It was an emotional moment for pan lovers and pan enthusiasts on World Steel Pan Day as the instrument was returned to its rightful birthplace behind the bridge on Piccadilly Street in Port of Spain. Pan Trinbago hosted a series of celebrations to commemorate the proclamation by the United Nations that World Steel Pan Day would be observed on August 11th. As such, 11 bands lined Piccadilly Street in Port of Spain and serenaded onlookers to the sweet sounds of pan music. President of Pan Trinbago, Beverly Ramsey Moore, hoped the instrument could be used to promote peace. This is a solemn occasion to be standing behind the bridge and bringing back Pan and we are saying that the 11th of the 8th, the 11 representing 2 pan 6, peace. We speak peace behind the bridge. And the two circles, the 8th, we are saying that's the circle of love. And so we want to just channel love behind the bridge. Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, Randall Mitchell, described the steel pan as a symbol of our national pride. The founders, the creators, the developers of the steel pan, through resilience, sheer resilience. Um, of course, we know that the musical instruments of the day were suppressed, and it was just through resourcefulness and creativity that the steel, band start, steel pan started. And of course, developed into steel band, we have now the steel pan movement, and the theme is very apt this year from behind the bridge to the world stage. We also spoke to a couple spectators who shared their opinions on the proclamation and the future of the instrument. It's something long overdue and I'm glad to know it happening. It should be in the school curriculum for a student to learn to play the pan. While they may not learn it in school, pan is very much alive in the young hearts, minds and pan sticks of the members of Pan Angels. Manager of the band, Peter Ralph, said the intention is to keep the young ones away from the negative factors and encourage them to develop their musical skills. Captain of the band, Kafira Okafor, said she enjoys her role in the band. So far, the experience fun. The cheering, a little miserable sometimes, but you know, that cheering. So, yeah, I'm so grateful for being able to do something so big at a young age. While the legacy of the steel pan remains, the future is in young and capable hands. Happy World Steel Pan Day! Kimberly D'Souza, TDT News. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley gave his thoughts on the commemoration of World Steel Pan Day. During Thursday evening's conversations with the Prime Minister in Diego Martin, Dr. Rowley explained the significance of the commemoration to Trinidad and Tobago. We are certainly happy that the United Nations that has put um, World Pan Day it means that very many people will be paying on, on that particular day um, very many people would either talk about, participate, or look at plan. In response to a concern from a resident regarding securing the intellectual property of the steel pan, Dr. Rowley said we should not be threatened by others' involvement in the use of the steel pan as a musical instrument. I don't think we are in any danger of losing that because the enthusiasm for pan in Trinidad to be going, notwithstanding what is being said, the enthusiasm is still quite high. And what we need to do is to ensure that we maximize its involvement in our cultural expressions. 